I see all these girls crocheting and making these bomb pieces and I wanna join the team. Consider this my tryout and my application. My name is Milan and in today's video I'm gonna be making a crochet full body oversized mixed yarn sweater situation thing. I've been seeing this all over my Pinterest, all over my Depop, all over my Instagram. Buying it from a seller would be really expensive. I just saw green. I don't know what it is but green is my color for this new year. I went to Michaels as all the hotties do and I was shopping and browsing for some yarn. I was looking for green yarn. Chunky yarn, skinny yarn, fluffy yarn, yarns that were on sale, fuzzy yarn, yarns that were on clearance. I was looking for it all. And when I went to the store, they were having a buy three, get one free, which is not really a deal, but okay, whatever. This is my current yarn collection. Uh, I have no shame to my game because I does this. But in terms of what I got for this project from Michaels, let me count, hold on, hold on. I got 11 balls of yarn for this project, all in the green color family. My crochet status is beginner, I have made some crochet pieces before. I've made a scarf, half of a top, a bag. I made, oh no, I almost made two bags. I start things and I don't finish them. And if I do finish them, I don't like it. This project has got to be my reset on crochet. I don't know how long this project is gonna take me. I'm gonna guesstimate two weeks. Giving myself deadlines is important because I often don't finish projects that I start. And if my deadline, that's my check-in time. Let's get started. I have never made a sweater before, so I took it upon myself to look up videos on YouTube to advance my amateur status. While I was watching the videos, I was taking notes and trying to see which one was the easiest to follow. I chose to follow a tutorial by It's Erin B here on YouTube. She's an amazing crocheter. This tutorial was super easy to follow and it's definitely beginner friendly because I needed all the help that I could get. I chose to start off the project with this Paris Green Soft Chunky Yarn by Bernat and it was the last one on the shelf when I went to Michael's. It was a sign! It had to happen! This was the darkest color that I chose to use in this project and I'm super happy that I chose to include it. I chained a total of 56 for the neck hole of this sweater. After I connected the chain, that's when I started working in the round on this sweater. Before I connected the chain, I wanted to make sure that it was laying on my body the way I wanted it to, so I was measuring where it would fall on my chest. I wanted to be super sure that it was going to look exactly how I wanted it to look. I went on with this burnout color for three rows, doing a mix of single and double crochet before I changed colors. I really wanted the darkness of this color to pop in this sweater. I chose to put this white fluffy yarn right underneath it. In previous things that I've crocheted, I've always been super scared to change colors. But after watching that tutorial, I realized that it was me. I was the problem. But now I'm a changed woman. Turns out it's not that hard. I continued on with this color for two more rows. It is the next morning and I am going to get started as early as possible. I think if I continue on the pace that I was working on last night, I can definitely get a good chunk done. This is how much I finished last night before I went to bed. I feel like the neck hole is a bit big or bigger than what I was going for. I was just making sure that uh, it could fit over my head. Oh, wait a minute but it could fit over my head. I normally have protective styles and when I do, the size of my head increases. So I just wanted to be extra, extra cautious that this project can fit around my head no matter what hairstyle I have on. After I finish adding another row of this color, I'm gonna add this yarn. It looks like a scrappy rug. I have this yarn in two colors and looking at the label now on this one, it says great for dishcloths. <laughs> and you know what's crazy? Like, there's a whole picture of disc cloths on this label, and I totally did not catch it until just now. That is so crazy. I was thinking of being a bit spicy and adding this really bright yellow, but I don't know. I think that if I were to add the yellow, it would be a moment. 
Now, you know it's been a long time, but I have a whole different hairstyle, but we digress. Let me show y'all what I have so far. This is what I have thus far. Do you see what I see? I see a beautiful sweater in the making. Yeah, that's what I see. I, I last left off with starting the armhole for the sweater. And I didn't want to start it and I wasn't on camera because like the whole point of this process is to share my struggle journey with you guys. I decided to do the armhole with this like moss green uh, colored yarn. I'm not sure if I'm gonna create the armhole and then start working on the arm or if I'm gonna create the armhole and then continue going in the round on the sweater. In the last clip that you guys saw, I was watching The Walking Dead season 11 and I really thought that that show was never gonna end. And it ended. No more. It really said no mass. Like, so now I'm watching Fear the Walking Dead, which is like a spin off series. I don't know. I I I'm definitely messing with it. I counted how many I chained for the armhole of the sweater and I got a total of 22. I connected the chain to the back part of the sweater and that's when I started working on the left side of the sleeve. And that's also when I messed up. I made a mistake. I connected the back of the sweater and then I started doing the armhole and now it looks weird. And that's not how I was supposed to do it. I was supposed to just work from this area of the sweater, not from here to here to here. I'm gonna take it out and redo it. Progress cam. So I have completed this much of the sleeve. I'm thinking of decreasing my stitch as I'm going along further down on the sleeve because I don't want it to be too baggy, but I definitely want it to be oversized. After I watched a tutorial on how to decrease while crocheting, that is when I officially started working on the left sleeve of the sweater. A whole nother hairstyle later. I chose my senior year to take the most reading intensive classes of my whole college career. I played myself. I definitely did, but I'm here. I'm actually past the deadline that I had set in place for myself. I'm feeling really optimistic. The plan for the next two days is the following. Today, I'm going to finish the right sleeve, the whole thing. That's the hope. That's the goal. That's the plan. And for tomorrow, before I go to my internship, I plan on working on the body of the sweater. If I don't finish before I leave for my my internship i'm definitely gonna finish it when i come back home i had to whip out that monster energy drink because i meant business i counted how many times i decreased on the left sleeve so i knew exactly how many times to do it on the right side so that everything can be as symmetrical as possible i used a safety pin to mark off where i decreased one of my new year's resolutions is to improve my french one way that i chose to implement that is to watch whatever shows whether on netflix or hulu in french along with having french subtitles i was doing that while i was crocheting and it was kind of hard the subtitles helped me along so much and because i was focusing on crocheting i was missing some parts of the plot definitely a good tip though if you want to learn a new language while I was crocheting and I was changing colors, I was also rotating the size hook I used. I used a 5, 6, and 6.5 mm hook throughout the whole entire process to really give me that one-of-a-kind, unique, only Milan has it vibe. I was also listening to this podcast that I just discovered called Content Queens. It's a podcast by two black content creators who drop knowledge on the content creation game from their perspective and their experience and they got the gems i think i have a problem so my sweater is not connected where the armholes are do you see that i can definitely fix it like i would just like sew this hair i don't know wait a minute i'm gonna have to google this now Ask the crochet god. I figured out how to connect the armpit to the body of the sweater. I used a darning needle and I just sewed it together. Now at this point in the night, I was through. Tired. Done with the day. But I knew that I wanted to finish the sweater when I said I was going to finish the sweater. I am notorious for not finishing projects. And I knew that if I let time go on for too long, this sweater was not going to be completed. I had my head tie on house clothes on knees ashy ashy look i didn't look the cutest but at the point i was there to get business done and that's exactly what i did and the final result 
I'm so happy with the final outcome of this sweater. It looks gorgeous, it looks beautiful. And that yellow that I decided to add really does bring out the green tones in this sweater. Tenacity, determination, perseverance. I got them all. The back seam of the sweater is a bit crooked, but we're not looking at that. It's about time that I finish a project that I started, especially a crochet project. That is the part where I deserve a blue participation ribbon. I need the ribbon and the first place trophy because look at this sweater. This is the start to many more projects to come. If you guys watched the whole entire video, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys like what you see, you guys can watch one of my previous videos. But also subscribe and like. Let me know if you thought I wasn't going to finish because that's funny. But anyways, I hope that you guys have a good day today and you enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!